If you're a Divi user and you want to create consistent looking beautiful websites with Divi, you're going to need the Divi design guide. Let me show you what I mean. Now over here I have a basic page that I've created in Divi and let's add a two column structure here. Now in this column we are going to add a blurb like that and I'm going to select here and you can see here that this is not stylized. So you are now going to spend a lot of time coming in here, changing the font. So let's say you want to uh, change this from the default here to, let's say, Abel. So that'll be, that'll be our font. I'll come over here, add that, make it bold, and so on. Over here, let's say I want to add a button. Now notice what happens. The button that we have here is the basic one. And you are going to need to design each and every module as you're designing your website. Now the Divi design guide makes this whole process of designing a consistent looking website easy. Let me show you how. Now over here, I've gone ahead and downloaded it. And here it is on my desktop. I'm gonna double click to open it. And here is the file that we need. So what I'm going to do next is to create a brand new page or I can just clear all this page that I have right now. And then all I have to do is to drag and drop this Divi design guide. I'm gonna do that just like that. And here in this prompt, you want to make sure you replace existing content and import presets. Click on import Divi Builder layout. And in a moment, we are going to have all the designs of our modules installed onto our website, making the design process of our website much, much easier and very consistent. Now, let me show you what I mean. So right now, our setup is ready. You can see here, I have a header. When I scroll down here, I have a light header. And when I continue on, you're going to find this amazing. We have all these layouts pre-designed for you. Look at these buttons already done for you. The fonts, the heading one, heading two, heading three, all designed for you. Over here, we also have these notices, all designed for you. Remember, we created that blurb. Now look at how many styles of blurbs we have. We have all these different styles, okay? Over here, we also have our other styles. And when I scroll down here, we also have countdown timers. We have uh, these testimonials. We have call to actions, all designed for you ahead of time. We even have image styles. Okay, now I don't want to spend so much time going through the whole list. Let me show you how to use this. Okay, so let's see the Divi Design Guide Pro in action. So let's start adding all our content. So I'm gonna start by adding these three columns. So let's say in the first column, I need to add a button. I'm gonna search for my button, just like that. Snap this over to the left. Now remember, we have all our designs over here. So all you have to do is to open this page so you can reference it. So I wanna add a button, it's gonna be button one. So back over here, all I have to do is to click on this drop down, and I'm going to choose button one. And just like that, my button now has been chosen. Now I can move on to the next part. Let's say I want to add some text in here. I'm going to search for my text module. And just like that, I've added my basic text, which is not stylized. Now, let's say I come in here and I want to set this one here to a heading two. I can just do that. And to stylize this, I don't need to go in and start customizing this. I can just click here on this drop down and then choose text. And just like that, everything has been updated. Look at how easy that is. Now let's do one more thing. If I come over here and let's say I want to add a blurb, I just have to add a basic one like that. And as you can see, it's pretty basic, but I can come over here now to this page and let me take a look and see which style that I want. So let's say I want style number three. Okay, let's go ahead and select it. Click here on this drop down, and I'm gonna go for blurb number three. All I have to do now is to add my icon. So I'm gonna come over here, activate icon, and let's say I'm gonna go with this one right here, all stylized for you. You don't even have to spend time. Now, of course, as we're designing our websites, we're going to need to add our hero areas. Now look at this. If I go in, click on this plus button, add full width, full width header. I can now come over here to the top, Okay, let's first of all take a look and see which style we want. So let's say we want this style right here. This is number one, centered. I can come over here, click on the drop down, and then choose number one, dark. Boom, just like that, I have now added my design. So all I have to do now is to add my image. So I can come over here to my images. Go to background, and I can just choose my image here from my media library. So let's say this is the image I'm going to use. I'm gonna click upload image. 
And just like that, my image now has been uploaded in the background. And I can further customize this by dragging the slider down to make it a bit brighter. And pretty much my design is coming along. Now, in this whole process, you notice that you did not need to spend time designing anything. Now, the advantages of using this as well is you can go in and change the colors to whatever you want, making updates to these designs. So the DV Design Guide Pro saves you a lot of time. It also enables you to have a consistent looking website and it will also make your websites faster because everything is done in the presets. The link to purchase it is in the video description below. There's a 50% discount. The price will be going up very soon. Take care and see you later.